I asked a bunch of Hive YouTubers how to win Treasure Wars solos and tried out their method for myself. First up, we had Super Gamer. It said, rush players, get diamonds and emeralds, and be better. I think I can do that. First thing I did in the game was rush a player. Super Gamer. This is totally not me being toxic. Splodger, please do not take my rank. <laughs> I totally didn't lose that game. Then I moved on to a separate game, which only had three players the entire time. What you know about rolling down in the... No! I just got killed by Fluffy Dino. Come here, stinker. Stinky, stinky, stinky. Guess who hasn't showered? <gasps> oh, no! <gasps> no! rolled by fluffy dino i continued to rush players just like super said however i ended up finding myself in a tricky situation being in between two fluffy dinos <laughs> They're TV! that was the worst game of my life super your strategy sucks second we had dicey he said eliminate your closest opponent rush mid by a diamond sword and snowballs just like dicey said i did rush the person right next to me they did end up jumping over me which i knew meant we were going to be trading treasures only option i had left is buy a sword and try and kill them oh boy danny's the combos oh yeah oh yeah after i killed them i rushed mid as quick as i can knowing my treasure was down that i needed stuff gathered a bunch of emeralds to try and save up for the diamond sword and get as many snowballs as i can when i got back to my base i ended up buying the diamond sword and had room for a bunch of snowballs by this time there were only three teams left and i quickly found blue and knocked them off with the snowballs after that i had a wide open lane to magenta's treasure now you could see me being really good with snowballs even better than mj owns you he doesn't even compare to my snowball skills in this split Oh my gosh! Well, snowballs. Thanks, Dicey's. Next up, we had Insane Orbit, who had a very similar strategy. The only difference being spam snowballs. Right off the bat, I rushed Green, who was oddly crouching right next to their treasure. Um. I, I'm a little confused. That looked like an, uh, like a, an astronaut in space or something, but I'm okay with that. Next, I went to middle where I took a fight that I totally won. Moving on to the next game, I realized that there was no opponent next to me, so I truly did get to rush mid right away. This game really do be what Orbit said. Rush mid, get snowballs, and spam. Rather than buying a diamond sword like the last game, I only bought snowballs this game. But I found myself in between two other teams. Knowing I had a treasure and they didn't, I quickly ran back to my base to try and use the snowball spam technique, and it actually worked. Well, snowballs, they worked. Then all I had to do was take care of the final person. Ayo, snowballs. Last but not least, we have Potato Pie, who is the third person to use this strategy. However, his exception was to buy an Ender Pearl. This person's Technoblader! Oh my gosh! Real Technoblader! Technoblader's having a rough day. <laughs> Technoblader had a really having a really rough day today. For some reason, I thought it was a good idea to throw the Ender Pearl and try and sneak behind the other person. However, that ended up working very poorly for me. Knowing I had a treasure and they didn't, I ran away to try and knock them off with some snowballs, and it didn't go as I expected. Holy cow. So Jay Burrow said, get good kids. So watch this. Did it, This fight lasted a really long time and was also really sweaty. We kept on trading who was killing each other throughout the entirety of the fight. LOL! No! Like every other game from this video, I ended up winning this game as well as a great Treasure Wars player. So this is an interesting strategy. We have something new and it's by the one and only Crane. Crane's strategy was rush other players until your treasure's destroyed, then go to middle and loot up. First thing I did is rush my opponent who was AFK. So this one was definitely really easy for me. And also I put him in the, the best combo-tage of all time. 
Then I proceeded to rush over to Red, who I was able to kill and very easily get their treasure as well. Also, their name was Dream and they were in a pink skin, so that's pretty cool. Nice, Dream. I know they're gonna get my treasure, but it's valid. And just like I predicted, they ended up getting my treasure, in which I was heading to middle anyway for yep. the emeralds. Doing the crane strategy, I feel like a sweat. Because now I'm expected to win. They're going to come after me, but they don't realize I'm about to get full iron armor. So they're going to regret this. We had the chase of the year going on. So I had to pull out my inner MJ owns you. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy cow. We meet again. Stinky, stinky, stinky. Guess who hasn't showered? Whose plays and evident both said the same thing. Only the word snowballs. So I completely ignored my treasure and the person next to me went directly to the middle for snowballs. Oh no. Now watch this. I'm gonna go absolutely yoink this man with snowballs. <gasps> okay, this strategy sucks. Now we have my favorite answer of the entire video, which was by DZ, and he said, repetition. And when I think of repetition, I think of combos and clutches. So I am going to clutch for DZ. DZ, this is for you. <laughs> Heck yeah. Now you should watch this video because there's a bunch of YouTubers in it, and it's the best video I've ever made on my channel. Thanks for watching.